I don't know exactly just how clever the AI of the game is. Honestly. Ah, shite. I was about to say, unless she's behind me, which I did not think would happen. Shoot. Um, oh dear. I mean, she might meet me as I get out of here, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Ah, damn it. Now I'm just worried. What if I just wait like three hours? I'm hoping this will just trigger her to spawn behind me. Hey, it did. Very nice. No, I heard the footsteps. Oh, like, as if she'd fallen from the sky. So that was a good trigger. Very nice. I hate when stuff like that happens, though, because it always makes me paranoid. It's like, ah, oh, shit, I've lost my follower, haven't I? Whew. To be fair, most of the time, that's not ever the case. Like, it's quite hard to actually lose a follower. They made... They did a pretty good job for keeping the followers around. For one... The followers are completely invincible. The only way you can kill a follower is if you're the one that deals the killing blow. So, I mean, that's incredible in itself. Um, they seem to be able to find you pretty damn well. For example, like that, if you go into an area without them, or if you cut them off by jumping over mountains or jumping down a deadly shaft, etc. They do a pretty good job of finding you. Then, yeah, I would just definitely say they've done a pretty good job. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you can't retrieve the Hano Jürgen Windcaller. Because it starts another quest right away, which I don't want to do. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. Riverwood. Sod it. Yeah, I don't believe it does. Hmm. Also, I'm go just going to quickly look at um, the Whispering Door, because I know there's a few tricks to get this done easily. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wow. I should really just get that. I could finish the quest quite easily. Uh, it would seem. Because what I could do is just get... There's a thing... <laughs> okay. No, there's a the Ritual Stone, which I believe allows you to reanimate the dead. And what you can do is essentially just... Um... Oh, yeah. I have a Thane. I can kill a Thane. And then reanimate their body, and then... There you go. Perfect. You're that visitor been poking around. I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Okay. You got it, Delphine. <laughs> she doesn't even let me go to sleep. So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. Indeed. I think you're looking for this. Indeed. We need to talk. Follow me. No, because I completed the Horn of Jürgen Winkoller. Oh, I actually got the Horn. Oh, good. Peace out, bitch. Now I can come back to start her quest. Hmm. How does the Ritual Stone work, then? Reanimate corpses to fight for them once a day. The ability grants granted by the stone is not a simple resurrection spell that reanimates a single dead body, but rather a large resurrection field that exp- Oh. Oh, okay. For 60 seconds. That's actually quite useful. Okay, so I think I might try and do that now. You, you maybe. I need to figure out what the bloody other thing is. And then I need to go to the steed. Oh! Oh, wow, really? 
The ritual stone is the one that's closest to Whiterun. Jesus, I could have done this so much sooner. The entire reason I've been putting it off is because I thought I would easily be able to get access to one of the spells that allow you to permanently raise a dead body. It was like... I can't remember what it's called. Reanimate Thrall or something? But you need... you need master level conjuration in order to do it. So I was sat here thinking, just like, shit, I'm not going to be able to do it. But yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh dear. Mm. God damn it. Right. Then we just need to go to... Oh, I can't remember his name. Arngear? What the fuck? Oh shit. Can I just jump up here? Yo, dude. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Arngear. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimkall. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Sweet. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Alright, cool. One thing I want to just double check is that the Ritual Stone is quite literally right here. And the Steed Stone, I believe, is around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, cool. I do remember. Mostly because I need this. Well, I don't need it actually. But I'm probably just going to stick with the Steed Stone because. Oh, yeah, because it's super damn useful. I did think, like, why do I need it? But yeah, no movement penalty from armor, and every piece of armor you equip doesn't weigh you down. Wait, I didn't have the last word? Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. Dragonborn, we would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Okay. Wingra Crossis Alan Strundu Vosri Balan Kropran now. Roch. Dovahkin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Yay! Holla feckin' Luya. And you can, I think now that we finished the Horn of Jürgen Winkala, I know it's been a long time coming, but... I'm pretty sure what you can do now is actually talk to Arngear and get the... He can basically tell you where to find uh, Word of Powers, or Words of Power, and like the caves they're in and everything. It's pretty damn useful, but eh, I might use that at some point. Also, I want to just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 12 for the Imperials, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fuck, there's 12 for both. Dang it. Oh no. Damn it. That sucks. Up. Oh. That's close enough. What up, bitch? That's the best you can do. No, this is. Oh, you're nearly dead. You fell. Oh, shit, I fell too. Why is she running away? Ah! 
Hey, quit running. Well, quit fighting, and I wasn't about to kill you. Had you not even attacked me, I wasn't about to kill you. Oh dear. There's a bear somewhere. There's the bear. Shit, I missed. I missed twice. I think I actually dove into my fireball. I win! And just to make it very clear with the Mafala quest, the chick that's with me is not going to be um, my sacrificial... I was going to say goat. She's not going to be my sacrifice because... Uh, well, I don't want her to be. She's decked out in really good stuff. I can't just kill her. Yeah, here we go. Ta-da! Once a day, those under the sign of the ritual can reanimate nearby corpses to fight for them. You may only have one sign... Not... One sign blessing at a time. Uh, yeah. Steve Stone removed. That's fine. I think that's White Run. Either way. I'm right behind you. You'll be alright on your own? Then I'll see you back at the college. Yep. I will get you back when I want you. So basically as soon as I'm finished with this quest. Assuming I can act actually activate it. I'm not entirely sure if I can. Uh, I'll double check. The Whispering Door. Oh yeah, I forgot I wanted to cross that off of my quest list. Now I've actually finally done it. I can get rid of Aniel's Endeavor, because that's finished. And I can also cross off the main quest of the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller. Holla bloody Luya. God, there's still Act 2 and 3 left, but close it. Enough. What the heck? It's like all of the White Run Guard. I think they all fell from the sky, to be honest. <laughs> it certainly sounded like it. Uh, okay. But yeah, the Whispering Door. Here it is. I think all you have to do is speak with... Wait, you have to be at least level 20 and finish the main quest, Dragon Rising. Oh... Oh, uh, that's why. Okay. You need to go to the Bannered Mare. I'm pretty sure I've done this one before. It's just one... It's one of the quests that's a real... A real pain to begin. Because, well, as you can imagine, you have to go to the Bannered Mare and only there to hear this rumour and then you can speak with Balgruff about it. Hmm. Right, cool. Right, so the Bannered Mare. Which is the bar. So that should be open regardless of time. I don't know what the time is. 2.52 a.m. You the drinker? Yep. My favorite drinking buddy. There. Bannered Mare. Mm. But the question is whether or not I can actually just um, talk about a rumor, or like ask about a rumor, or if they actually just speak about it. Mm. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Had any rumors? People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face. Maybe it's this one. Give me the latest gossip. Do you the companions? In your Vasker? Nope. They're recruiting new members from what I Rumors. Hear. been hearing some strange there we tales go. of the Jarl's children. Say the one's turning wicked, and the others have an ill favoured look to them. Best to keep clear. Bada boom. Ask about Balgruff's Ask about his strange children. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Hmm. Alright. So, I don't think I'll be able to finish this quest, because it's a bit... It's one of those that's a bit of a pain in the ass, Honestly. But we'll see. Uh, I, I really doubt it's one that could be finished within 10 minutes, to be honest. Just doesn't seem a feasible thing. We shall see. We shall see. Alright. The hardest part is going to be getting a follower. But I'm pretty damn sure um, I can get. I don't remember his name, but the Thane of. Not Thane. The House Carl of Marthal to follow me. So, it's not so bad. 
Hmm. I think the way it works is you have to speak with Balgrove and then speak with his son. Oh, the downside to this. Shit. Actually, I could just hire a mercenary. That would work, would it not? So I'm pretty sure the only thing you have to kill is somebody that's a follower. They don't actually have to be buddy buddy with you. So yeah, I could just hire somebody. <laughs> Depends how I'm feeling. <laughs> Still a pain in the ass though. Yo, Bolgriff. Bolgriff. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I've heard there's trouble with your children. Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. Oh. I was always a quiet lad, but lately, something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. Hmm. He won't say a word to me. But I don't know how I upset him. If you could speak to him, draw out the truth, I would be immensely grateful. Sure thing, dude. The Whispering Door. Is that a stealing? No, I can take it. Ta-da! Unusual gem. Find out what's wrong with Nilk here. We asked about his strange kids. So, dude, why are your kids so strange? It's an elven thing. Goblets, a bench, oh yeah, a shield and a thing. <laughs> I'm so good at explaining things. It's a shield and a thing, all this stuff. Um, I can't remember what his kid's called. Nelkir, I think. They're located in the basement, I, th I believe. In which case, I'm not so surprised they've become dark or strange. Hmm. So, we okay. Um, not down there. That's the dungeon. Down here. I don't think this leads to a new area. It's just yeah. There you go. Oh. 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 Uh. There it is! That's the door. That's creepy as fuck. Jesus. Where is Nilkir? I don't know why the hell I went to this. Oh wait, he isn't down here. I thought I lived in the basement, which sounds terrible. They don't- they live in the Yarl's quarters. Oh! They'll be asleep. That might be why. Maybe they're in the basement during the day? Bargrove, you're awake. It's like probably 3 a.m. in the morning. Did I wake you up? Well, I mean, I did. I just assumed he'd go back to sleep. Oops. Hmm. Right. Here we go. Ah, uh, they'll be. In, yeah, I was gonna say they'll be in his room, in the same room, a joined room, if you will. Or not. <laughs> Right, here we go. Jesus Christ. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with, with my fists. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Oh, it's this kid. Your father said to speak to you. So, the disgusting pig sent Whoa. you to bother me. One day, I'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone. Jesus. <laughs> my father doesn't know anything about me, but I know about him. And about the war, more than he might think. What sort of things? I know that he still worships Talos. That he hates the Thalmar almost as much as the Stormcloaks do. That he worries about being chased from Whiterun. That he... that I'm... That I don't have the same mother as my brother and sister. Hmm. How do you know these things? This castle is old. Lots of places nobody's been in a long while. Right. Places where you can overhear things, see things. 
and the Whispering Lady. There we go. Who's the Whispering Lady? She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I hear her talking to me. I thought I was caught, but she started telling me even more secrets. But I can't open the door. Where is this door? In the basement. Trust me, you'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you too. Alright then. There we go. Listen to the whispering door. How did you come to present? Yo dude, I work for the Daedra. How the hell do you think? To be honest, when it's when it brings in like the whispering doll, the whispering lady, it just sounds a whole lot creepier than it is. Yeah, I wouldn't say that any, like, many... Yeah, I wouldn't say many of the quests in this game are creepy. There are certainly a few that make your hair stand on end and are kind of like, whoa. Make you feel slightly, not uneasy, but on edge. Definitely. I can't actually think of any off the top of my head, but I know there's a few. Here we go. Listen at the door. At last. Ugh. Lydia? <laughs> the child is spirited, but lacks agency. I'm pretty sure it's the same voice actor as Lydia. What could the boy not do? The boy is good at sussing out secrets. But the corruptibility of children is ultimately too limited for my purposes. You, though, I expect will prove far more malleable. Hmm. What, who are you expect- Wait, who are you to expect anything? I forgive your not knowing my name. Few can hear my whispers anymore. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whispers. There she is. I tug at the web of connections between mortals. Love, hatred, loyalty, betrayal. What do you want me to do? First, you must open this door. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it. And even my eyes cannot see past the seals. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person, such as yourself. Ooh. How do I open the door? The whole of Whiterun is ripe with paranoia and tensions. The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. Alright. Speak to Nelker again. Uh, okay. Oh. Where the hell? Where the y'all actually go to then? Oh, he's having a bit of bread. You having a bit of bread? I don't care. <laughs> Look. Oh, he actually updated my map. Cheers, dude. I guess. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Either way, we're like, not very close to being done. We're maybe a third of the way done with this, but a lot of this quest is just going to be reviving and killing a trusted person. You. Do you know you how to open... Lady, don't you? I do. I can tell. Do you know how to open the Whispering Door? I told you, I know everything about this castle. For some reason, that door is special. Only two people can open it. Balgroof and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. 
Nobody would notice if Farngar went missing. I promise you. Oh God. Until next time. Yeah, of course. Fuck off. Oh, Farangar. Okay. He'll probably be asleep. I would hope. And considering it's those two that carry the key, I get the feeling it's probably easier to just target Farangar as opposed to Balgraf. Because for one, Balgraf only ever sits his ass in two places. One, one place he sits it is on his throne. The other place he sits it is in that chair. No, like, it's usually just his throne and his, um, his bed. Ooh, this is a bit of a pain. Dink. Sixty-two percent chance. Ah, uh, back. I don't really like doing this kind of thing, but sure. Go for it. I fucking knew it. That's why I saved. I hate doing it like this, like you know, save and repeat if you fail, because it's a pain in the ass. But because you, if I get caught um, pickpocketing, you can't pickpocket that person again. I don't know if it's like you can't pickpocket that person ever again, or if it's like just on a cooldown. I'm not entirely sure. You've got to be shitting me. Fuck's sake. It might just be easier to use Paralyze or something, uh, yeah, which is a pain. Do I have any Paralyze spells? I don't actually know. I'm hoping I do, because if I do, I think you can Paralyze without much of an issue. I thought he'd be asleep, though. I could probably, like, Paralyze him and then take it, and then if I get a bounty, just get rid of it or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'll pay for it. I don't really care. It's alteration. No, it isn't. Illusion. I don't actually know what it is. Destruct conjuration. Rest it. Do I have a scroll of paralyze? I have nothing. I have no poisons either. Shoot. Everything is still 62. I can't get it. No, I, I literally can't get it. Oh, that's annoying. I don't want to just keep fucking failing. However, at the same time, that's all that's fucking happening. Hmm. Ah, oh, God. It is a pain, though. If only I could just send him to go to sleep. If he fails again... Oh, thank fucking Christ. Jesus. I'm gonna say, if it fails again, I'll, I'll just get it off screen. Because I knew it wouldn't, like, have any sort of dialogue or anything attached to it. Now, the main reason I wanted to, like, get the key and the blade on screen is because I know there's a book to do with it. There. The book. On the ebony blade. Yeah. Admonition against Ebony. How about... How, okay, this isn't even that bad. To anyone reading this, beware this blade. It is hoped that the only people having access to this room should be the Jarl and, of Whiterun and his trusted wizard. If anyone else is reading this, please understand the magnitude of your folly. Turn around and never even speak of this room or this blade to anyone. It has corrupted and perverted the desires of great men and women. Yet its power is without equal. To kill while your victim smiles at you, only a Daedra most foul could have concocted such a malevolent and twisted weapon. But it appears that all who wield... All... All who wield it end up with the crazed eyes of those wild men who roam the hills chattering with rabbits. It is not to be trifled with. Not even the hottest fires of the Skyforge could melt it. Indeed, the coals themselves seemed to cool when it was placed within. We cannot destroy it, and we would not have it fall into the hands of the enemies. Or of our enemies. So we keep it hidden, dark, and deep within Dragon's Reach, never to be used. Woe be to any who choose to take it. Of course I'll take it. It's the Ebony Blade, motherfucker. Excellent work. God, I hate the voice. No. I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match the description of the Ebony Blade you may know. It doesn't, you're right. It has languished too long out 
outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. To return to its past glory, it must first drink the blood of deceit. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany my blade in the song of your grandeur. Alrighty. We completed it. No, we didn't. I guess we technically did complete it, but it's only temporarily. Yeah, it's tasked me with releasing it. We've released it. It lacks its legendary power. Also, it is actually, like, it's completed, but you can actually take this quest even further. Oh. Oh, okay. It's not too bad then. So I say, why does it sound like I'm on fire? Either way, that is going to be the end of this session. I'm just going to go to Lakeview and d deposit some things. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and until next time, take care.